Hey everyone, this is Scott from servmedia.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to optimize the Listing Pro theme by Critio Studio. This theme is very large and I'm going to preface that with everything that I'm about to show you. There is a lot of features, there are a lot of ways you can customize it. So if you're going to be primarily basing your performance off of PageSpeed Insights, I'm not going to have a lot of good news for you to quickly resolve those issues. A lot of the issues in this theme stem from the way it's currently built, and there are some things the devs could do to resolve this. Um, we're gonna talk about those, but I'm also going to show you ways that you can get some quick results to improve the general load time. So one thing I want to preface is um, if you want to get really decent performance on PageSpeed Insights, you're going to need to have some sort of asset management plugin. I do not have the time in this video that I can quickly go through and give you just a general configuration for reducing the number of requests using an asset management plugin, whether that's Perf Matters or any other asset cleanup tool. I will have a separate video on the channel that it describes how to use asset management plugins, but I do not have that up at the time of this recording. So that being said, I'm gonna show you what you can do using free plugins. I always try to show you free plugins to save you money. As always, you can try to find a premium plugin like WP Rocket, and that may give you better results, but free plugins are typically what you guys prefer. So when you first install the theme, you're going to have quite a few major issues that you're going to get flagged. I'm going to talk about which of the plugins I have installed for free. I'm gonna go through the general configuration, and I'm also going to tell you one thing you need to be aware of with this theme. Number one is if you're using this theme, you need to make sure you have a solid host. It is very dependent on the host because a lot of the actions that it does are dynamic. So this theme functions primarily off of search results so if you type in arts and entertainment and you just click search, it's running a search query with the following parameters. This is something that is dynamic. So you need to make sure whatever host you use that they have some sort of object cache. An object cache will store database queries and memory to make them much faster. Cloudways, SiteGround, WP Engine, I believe Keensta offers it as well, but Keensta is a little bit of a different league as far as price points are concerned, but you have to have something that can quickly respond to database queries. The more listings you have, the slower the search results will come, and you can't just page cache your way out of slow searches. That being said, the four plugins I'm gonna be showing you for this configuration are Auto Optimize, Cache Enabler, which is a page caching plugin, which is mostly meant to help reduce server load and improve the performance for non-logged in users, U Image Optimizer, primarily because you're gonna have users uploading large scale images. So I'm gonna be showing you how to configure the resize functionality, which will be very important when your users are leaving reviews and adding images or just uploading images to the listings in general. And then a free lazy loading plugin that you can install. So Cache Enabler, I'll go ahead and turn it on first because it's the most basic plugin. One thing I also have to note is I did use the Elementor version of this theme, if you're just getting started, choose Elementor, do not use WP Bakery. If you're going to use WP Bakery, this configuration should still work. Just keep in mind that you may have some hiccups along the way. So one thing we're going to do is we're gonna change the cache expiry time to 10 hours. This way, even if nothing is published, the cache will still be refreshed for new listings and so on and so forth. This is a global cache expiry, so any page that's been cached for 10 hours will be marked for deletion and will be regenerated the next time it's visited. A lot of premium plugins come with a preload functionality. This plugin does not, so keep that in mind. You can then choose to clear the complete cache if a new post has been published. This is one of the times when I don't recommend you do that. The primary reason for that is this theme, if you have a very large directory that's growing, you don't need to constantly show changes on your home page for any new post. This plugin will automatically take care of the categories and it will already handle the home page cache so there's not really a reason to enable it. You're not showing recent listings like you would be showing recent posts if this was a news or magazine theme so keep that in mind. But we will want to enable pre-compression of cached pages and then we will 
want to, as always, clear the complete cache if any plugin has been upgraded. If one of these plugins gets out of date and you update it, you want to make sure that the cache is still relevant or else some features may not work. Then you're gonna go ahead and click Save Changes. We're next going to uh, activate the EU Image Optimizer plugin. I'm gonna show you this one because it's the easiest. We're gonna to go to Settings, EU Image Optimizer. The default options are totally acceptable. And then I would go to the Advanced section and I would choose to enable Scheduled Optimization. If you've never used this plugin before, go under Media, click Bulk Optimize, and run one bulk optimization. This way, though, when users upload images, they can be compressed and it will run hourly. That way, if you have a lot of users adding new images, they will automatically be compressed. The other thing we need to do is go to the Resize functionality and set a max width parameter. Typically, I do the max width as 1920, and I set the max height to 9999. The reason for this is really because we basically don't care what the height is. We just want to make sure that the width is always at a maximum of 1920 by 10 and 1920 pixels. So most screen sizes are 1920 by 1080, 1920 being the width. If you change the max height to be 1920 by 1080, what will then happen is, is the images could get hard cropped, which is where content gets cut out, and that would not be a very good user experience but this way we can still resize the images to compress their size and still give users a happy experience. So this is typically an ideal. As you see, this theme generates a lot of different thumbnails. You will be eating up storage so quickly on a growing site. So we're gonna go ahead and enable these options and hit save. We're then going to go to the lazy load optimize images and we're going to go to settings. Very easy, quick plugin. Uh, basically, you just check all three of the boxes. It should work without any hassle, and it's quite simple. Um, I'm gonna open up the view source so you can see how this works. You find an image tag, and as you can see, it's image class loading, and then a source attribute, and the data lazy source. It basically just lazy loads all the images and replaces them with a generalized SVG that's been inlined. By default, the theme does inline some images as base64 encoded to reduce the request count. I don't know why. Uh, that's a very odd optimization for them to do, but I think it has to do more with these icons, and I believe they came from a library that they were using, but it's not a big deal. Uh, this will lazy load your images to reduce the total request counts, which will reduce your page size. This can be very useful, especially on your search pages. We'll just demonstrate by going to uh, this and as you can see the image loads um, but the more listings that appear the images will be lazy loaded to demonstrate we'll just view the source and as you can see it is indeed lazy loaded so this will help reduce the request count to reduce overall page size then we're going to finally activate auto optimize auto optimize will do your asset management so it'll combine your css your js it will defer the js and has some other neat features Settings, um, these are the settings that you should be able to work with and not cause too many issues. Optimize the JavaScript code, check. Aggregate the JS files, should be checked. Do not enable any of the following options below. The reason for that is if you aggregate your inline JS, your cache size with this theme will explode. And what I mean by that is the cache size will just continuously build and rebuild and rebuild to the point that you have no more space on your host and you have one gig of cache JS files. It has to do with a lot of the dynamic features of the theme, so just keep that in mind. Don't enable our aggregate inline JS, and don't do it for the CSS either. So we're gonna aggregate our CSS files, and we're gonna generate data URIs. That's all we are going to do. The inline and defer option with auto-optimize is not going to do well with this theme. The primary reason for that is, is the amount of assets that are being served will not run through any of the free critical CSS generation tools, and you have to create critical CSS for each of the main pages. This is something where something like uh, Swift Performance Pro or WP Rocket would be a good investment for you, because you won't be able to load the CSS asynchronously without using the, yeah, without using <laughs> really any of those premium plugins that can generate critical CSS on demand for the page type. And that's not really a plug for these plugins, it's just you're gonna have to pay to get really the best performance possible out of this theme because it is so large and it is so bulky. 
After you do so, then all you have to do naturally is just go ahead and click uh, save and empty cache. One thing you may need to do is, depending on which page builder you're using, is to uh, disable the optimize for logged in editors and administrators. But remember, after you don't need that option enabled anymore, recheck it. You want the option checked because users will be logging in and you will want to be serving them bundled assets. That way the amount of bytes being transferred is considerably smaller. There are some extra features in here that could be useful. Um, the Google Fonts option, while I typically recommend it, doesn't do anything for this theme because the developer is erroneously serving them as the web font loader. And the web font loader, for those of you who don't know, is this JS library in the header. So it loads the Google Fonts asynchronously. The disadvantage here is it's not the most efficient means of delivering them. So unfortunately, the developer will have to resolve that in an update. But until then, you're just going to have to live with that. So maybe you could write to the developer and say, hey, change your theme option settings because this is a filter in the Redux options framework to, lose, to async typography. It just needs to be set to false. And then any other optimization plugin can just go in and handle the rest of it from there, including combining the CSS fonts the CSS files as you can see right here. In fact, I'll demonstrate if you just choose to combine and preload in the head, we're gonna let it run and we do have the C rest of the CSS files for the Google fonts loaded in here. But the main Google font files from the theme options panel will always load like this and you can't really do anything about it. You can choose to remove emojis, but this type of theme is meant to get, garner an audience who are going to be commenting and using emojis, so I wouldn't really recommend it. And then the final option is to remove query strings. After you do that, we are just going to run, go ahead and clear the cache. So this theme will do better this way, but it's still not going to be flawless. Your primary headache is going to just be the large amount of CSS and JS, and the only way to fix that is to use an asset management plugin. The problem is, is going through all those settings takes a lot of time. As you can see, just by bundling all the CSS, it is 363 kilobytes. This is very large. It is absurdly large. And then you have to add all the other miscellaneous files and that it includes. I'm going to make a video in the near future that goes over how to use asset management plugins. But as you can see, just by combining it and doing the general optimization, it does much better on GT Matrix because the total size decreased, the request count decreased, and the assets are deferred, which does improve the timing intervals. The other thing I recommend you do is you look into a CDN. You should be using Cloudflare if you're going to be delivering this many large assets. So that way you can have constantly high delivery speeds, but more importantly, it has broadly compression, which will further reduce the merged file size. Otherwise, you're really just gonna to need to wait until I can get the asset management video made because it's a very complicated subject, but this theme is so large that it needs it. But if you have any general questions, maybe you want to, if you're asking about a premium plugin or you just want to know what else you can generally do, please feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you out. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.